What's up guys, it is Beard O'Clock. Yet again, that means the Hairy Gamer coming at you with a brand new episode of Behind the Beard. This week talking about, let's be honest, craze that is taking the world by a storm, Pokemon Go. I've got it on my phone, my wife's got it on her phone, she doesn't even play Pokemon most of the time. Um, it's just gone absolutely crazy, it's done wonderful things for Nintendo financially, good on them, they needed it. Um, but yeah, so Pokemon Go is, uh, for those of you that don't know, all five of you out there, it's an app that lets you capture Pokemon wandering around in the real world. Now, obviously, they're not actually out in the streets, they're in uh, the app, but it uses your camera on your phone as part of an augmented reality, so you can actually see them through your camera in the world around us. It is really fun to see Pokemon running around uh, and standing there, there's been various Facebook groups, a lot of memes online about different places various Pokemon have appeared. A lot of them are very funny. Feel free to check them out if you haven't already and feel like a bit of a laugh. Um, so yeah, uh, this isn't going to be a long one because I want to get back to, you know, playing Pokemon Go. But it is a little bit difficult uh, over here being in Bali, not because of bad connectivity, though that does happen. Um, more so because we don't have local SIM cards, so we're reliant on Wi-Fi, which means, for example, where we're staying right now, there's no Pokemon in the area, so you cannot catch any, no matter what you do. You have to go somewhere in town that has Wi-Fi to catch some. Luckily, there are a few good areas uh, that uh, do spawn Pokemon regularly, so we've been heading there. Generally, on the weekends, uh, we spend a couple hours wandering around looking for Pokemon various places with Wi-Fi, having coffee along the way as well, because nothing is better than coffee unless you can add Pokemon to it. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments section below what Pokemon you started with. I started with Bulbasaur because I didn't realize I could see them all, uh, because, as I was saying, internet a little bit slow. I just saw a flicker, tapped it, thinking that was my only chance. Stuck with Bulbasaur. Not too bad, though. Not unhappy about that. Also, let me know what team you're a part of, if you're up to that. I am Team Mystic. A couple of reasons for that. I liked uh, Team Mystic being blue. Uh, blue, one of my favorite colors. But also the fact that the original Pokemon game, the first one I ever owned, was Pokemon Blue. I still actually own the Pokemon Blue cartridge I had back then with all 150 Pokemon on it. So I felt a little bit of loyalty towards Blue in that situation. But let me know what team you're on as well as if you've uh, owned any gyms. I haven't yet, haven't even battled at a gym. So uh, we'll have to see how that goes. As I said, being on Wi-Fi only does limit it a little bit. But let me know how you're going on Pokemon Go in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, guys, that is it for me for today. I will be back tomorrow. That's right, tomorrow being Wednesday with our very first Weight Loss Wednesday video and update. So make sure you check that out tomorrow. Have a great day, guys, and I'll catch up with you on Wednesday.